News 3 at 6 beginning with breaking news. A child that we're now told is found safe after a car was stolen from a Norfolk gas station. Now, what you're looking at is the Wawa on North Military Highway where police say the car was stolen. The child was found less than five miles away at a hair salon in Virginia Beach. We have team coverage on this breaking story. It's been evolving over the last hour, and we begin with News 3 investigator Margaret Cavanaugh. Yeah, Margaret, so what is the latest out there? Because there's so many dots to connect, and starting with what do we know about the child? We know that the child's been found safe. Thank goodness. The most important thing, the child is safe, found in Virginia Beach. We know that the call came in at around 340 to a Wawa about two and a half miles from where we are right now. Right now, I'm here at Norview Avenue near the on-ramp entrance to 64. You can see traffic's backed up, but the scene out here has been cleared, but there is a bit of traffic. Earlier, police were out here. They were taking photographs, gathering evidence. Unconfirmed, we were told that the suspects were possibly found in this location. However, that has not been confirmed by police. We know that an eight-year-old girl was in a car. That car was reportedly stolen, then found found over in Virginia Beach. This was somehow part of the whole uh, situation with the crime scenes. The Wawa police were there earlier today, and, and we also know that Brendan Ponton right now that we're going to speak to is live at the location where the little girl was found safe. Brendan. Margaret, yeah, we got some information that the child may have been found here, and I want to show you here what it looks like. There's a Norfolk police car here, and just moments ago here, that black SUV or Chevy sedan actually uh, just pulled up and a Norfolk detective here walked into this hair salon right off of Cleveland Street in Virginia Beach and he's been talking with the folks inside now so we got some information that the child may have been found here and I came and I went and spoke to the people inside the salon and they just were saying that the child is safe I tried to get some more information from them like how did the child get here and you know all of that and the uh the the people in there just were reiter reiterating that the child is safe so still a lot of unanswered questions about all of this you know how the child wound up getting to this point exactly and i did you know, i was trying to talk to a lot of the other business people here there's a mercedes-benz dealership there's a tattoo place no one else saw anything so the hair salon folks in there they're the ones talking with the police and the detectives right now they have more information but again they're just telling me that the child is safe. Curtin Barbara. Hey, so Brendan, I, I know that there's still a lot that you don't know, but has anyone said whether there is some family connection, a relative that works at the salon? No one has told us that, so that would just be speculation at this point for me to be able to weigh in on that. But yeah, there definitely has been a lot of activity here at this salon. We got a detective in there right now. There's a Norfolk police officer that's been going back and forth from his truck to the salon and trying to get some more information here throughout the evening. And as soon as we learn more, yeah, you might be able to tell there. It looks like actually the detective walked into the, the frontier of the salon and it looks like they're just talking here with the folks in there. The, the, the police officer is in the, the front door there. So yeah, still a lot of questions about how the child was found in Virginia Beach, but the good news at least is that the child is safe. Yeah, a lot to unravel here, considering this all started out as a child abduction at a Wawa in Norfolk and ends up in Virginia Beach. Yeah, three different locations. So we will continue to stay on top of this, have an update coming up tonight at 7 and also on 10 and 11 and always digital at WTKR.com.